What's going on classmates and Professor Harris? My name is Alex Rucci and I am going to be in my fifth year at Newman University this year. I studied four years of sport management uh, undergrad and I'm doing my master's here in sport business for this program, for the four plus one program. So a little bit of background about myself. I spent the past four years here. I was a member of the men's lacrosse team and will be playing again this spring. And my brother is actually going to be in this class with us as well. So I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to a fun semester with everyone. So why am I taking this course? So the, one of the biggest reasons why I'm taking this course is I have a fascination with organizational behavior. I took uh, Dr. Till's OB class this past semester, and it was honestly one of the most beneficial classes I've ever taken. You're really able to learn the structure of how businesses operate and how you can really work with your interpersonal skills and just kind of find ways that you can just help grow yourself and help grow a company as well by just figuring different things out that work for you along the way. What is my dream job? My dream job as a kid was always growing up that I wanted to work for a Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. I won class clown in high school, so I thought that could be possible. But um, in all seriousness, I work for Citizens Bank right now as an intern in the corporate sponsorships department. I really enjoy that. And that's something I would really want to continue working with that company. They're a very great company. They kept me on as an intern for a paid internship during this COVID time. So I'm beyond thankful for that. But I really would like to continue working with Citizens Bank or potentially working in sales with a sports organization in the future as well. What do you want to learn and take away from this course? What I want to be able to take away from this course and learn most importantly is just how to continue to further my leadership skills and my development skills as a person. I want to continue to be able to bring positive energy and good vibes to wherever I'm working, but also be focused and driven every step of the way. I want to continue to learn ways that I can help grow and help others grow that are around me and just continue to push myself to be better. What kind of leader am I? The kind of leader I am, I'm definitely, I would say I'm definitely loud, but not one of the loud leaders that's in your face. I'm one of the leaders that is loud, but does a lot of work behind the scenes. I want to be able to get the attention of everyone and continue to help bring positive energy to everyone as well. So when I say loud, it's definitely something that is motivational loud. Let people know when they're doing a great job. Continue to pick up energy and morale for everyone around the workplace. I like to make it fun. I like to have little things, little games and little things that allow people to just express themselves and feel comfortable. Because I feel like when there's a lot of autonomy and everyone feels comfortable with what they're doing, that's when you're going to get the most beneficial workout of everyone. Are leaders born or made? I think leaders are made. In the process, everyone goes through things in their life that allows them to either learn from them or fold from things. And I think that by taking the time to just develop throughout uh, your past and learn from your mistakes and other things just from working in different companies, you're able to see the type of leader that you want to become and the type of leader that you don't want to become. So I think over time, I think that's how the development will grow for a leader to grow and that they are continued to be made, not born. What is an effective leader? I think an effective leader is someone that wants to get stuff done can help others reach and achieve that common goal, but continues to bring positivity and emphasize teamwork and just good vibes and a good culture within the workplace. I think a leader that provides autonomy to a lot of the employees or just other people around them and a leader that's not in your face, always peppering you with questions. I think a leader that has trust as well in the people he's working with or he or she is working with. I think that's one of the biggest things as well. I think a lot of it is just trust. Knowing and being able to rely on your teammates and your uh, other employees, I think that's one of the biggest things. And let people know when you're doing a good job. I think that's one of the most important things too. Let others know that you appreciate the quality of work that they're doing as well. So I'm sorry if my voice sounded a little weird. I just got tonsil surgery and my throat is on fire right now. But thank you for taking the time to hear me out. I'm looking forward to a nice semester with all of you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.